And a source has come forward to 10 News tonight claiming more crimes were committed by a direct TV installer already accused of shooting inappropriate video of a young girl on his cell phone. 10 News was the only station to show you that cell phone video taken while the man was installing equipment in a home. Now we're learning that the very same suspect may have targeted members of the USD volleyball team. 10 News reporter Dan Haggerty joins us live from USD with what police say the pictures show. Dan. Well, the pictures were taken on campus, Steve, and taken in the locker room here at the University of San Diego. Police say they have a memory card filled with photos taken from the then freshman player. 10 News broke this story when a DirecTV repairman tried to hide this cell phone camera in the room of a teenage girl while she changed. This is the actual video he shot. He got busted and arrested and, of course, fired. Now that former employer is helping police build a bigger case. Direct TV searched his van and they actually located a memory card to a camera. That means more charges piling up for Hardino Messina. Police tell 10 News that he stole the memory card from the bedroom of another teenage girl while on the job in North County. He was in her room, saw the camera, and snagged the photos. On that memory card, um, there were videos and pictures that the police department actually was able to trace to a local college student. And a former volleyball player on this 2010 University of San Diego girls volleyball team. Police went to the school, showed the team's coach, and confirmed these are the girls in the pictures. And some of them were taken inside the team's locker room. We grabbed this footage from a university post on YouTube. There was nothing that was inappropriate, undressing, any of that kind of thing. It was just personal pictures and videos that, you know, a, a young girl would have on her camera. Many of the pictures were taken in 2010, but the younger players on the team may still be on the squad and at the university. But the school decided not to comment after we called. And we don't know exactly how many photographs were on that memory card. Talking to police, we do know that the other photos were of family vacations, outings with friends, and concerts. Reporting live tonight, I'm Dan Haggerty, 10 News.